Hi everyone, I'm Rafael back again with another Awakened Chaos Era video guide. In today's video, I'll be showing you my experiences on how I built my second guild boss team to speed tune to the first team. Previously, I shared a video guide on how to build a guild boss team. However, that guild boss team is, requires a very high amount of speed, at least 800 speed and above by totaling up all of your hero speed. However, in order to build the second team, you will need to have a lot of uh, speed sets gear found from Ash Magistra. For my case, I tried to farm a, lot, a bunch of them, but I wasn't lucky to get the right uh, substats on each of these as uh, speed sets. So instead of relying on uh, farming on the speed set gears, I tried an alternative method which is to use lower speed by inflicting a negative effect known as a speed down on the guild boss which lowers the speed requirement for your heroes to gain an additional bonus turn each round. So let me show you the team. So let's head over the battle, banker. Alright, so currently I'll be demonstrating on how to use this speed down uh, debuff. And for this demonstration, I'll be using this team A, which consists of Scarlet, Abaddon, Florence, and Bullion. The spells I'll be using would be Sundering Purgatory for the defense down and Rich Aura for my attacker. The reason why I do not use Guy's Renewal here is because Clarence is my uh, primary uh, hero healer. Uh, out of all of these four heroes, the heroes that is capable of applying speed down debuff would be Abaddon. There are other heroes that also can perform the same role, such as Latrixus, the latest release of the epic hero. And there is one more which is Hydrisia, which is one of the uh, starting legendary heroes that you can pick when you start your account. But let me show you this team. I'll put this on manual mode to explain to you how this uh, team works. So as you can see at the bottom uh, of the battle window here, you can see the hero's turn order. Which is Flares to go first, followed by Bullion, Scarlet, and last but not least, Abaddon. So, currently the boss doesn't have any debuff. So, what I usually do for this team is I apply the Sundering Purgatory so my heroes will deal more damage to the boss. Then, I use Flares Ultimate Ability to provide additional bonus attack to all of my heroes here. Then, as usual, I'll use all of my heroes' Ultimate Ability for Bullion. She will apply the Induction Effect. So that each time my heroes attack, they will gain this, uh, the guild boss will receive this lightning damage. And then Scarlet will use her ultimate ability to apply the bleeding effect. So whenever my heroes attack, the uh, wolf will join attack as well. And finally, for Abaddon, for any heroes that apply the uh, speed down, but for Abaddon, he will be applying the speed down through his basic attack, the side strike. So as you notice here, this uh, basic attack applies random stats down. And this consists of defense down, attack down, speed down, critical rate down, critical damage down, focus down, and resistance down. So let's apply one attack here. As you notice, the speed down debuff has been applied. So let me pause the battle here for a moment. And this is the buff that I'm uh, referring to, the speed down debuff. So once this speed down debuff is, uh, is placed, then... Uh, uh, Abaddon has the ultimate ability, which is Death Nail, which allows him to prolong a debuff duration by one turn. And once he successfully applies that, then for every round that Florence takes, she will gain an additional bonus turn. Just look at the action meter here, it will be populated and then disappear. Once it disappears here, then Flurus will gain the additional bonus turn. This allows your for my team. This allows Flurus to gain additional bonus turn each round. Oh, so let me stack up more bleeding effect on the boss, so that uh, Abaddon will be, uh, will be able to deal more damage through his trade. So as you notice here, uh, Abaddon's Soul Ripper trait attacks reduce all cooldowns by one turn for a unique negative effect on the target and inflict 5% damage per negative effect on the target. So, so if you're using Abaddon, it's best to pair him with a debuffer such as like Scarlet or Bachelet who can perform multiple uh, attacks that stacks a lot of debuff like Ignite or Bleeding. So for my main attacker, I'll use the Rage Aura to boost up his attack. You notice here is uh, the Rage Aurora provide 30% additional attack 
And then I'll use Abaddon that name. So that's how the team works using speedtown. So the so later I'll show you the Excel spreadsheet on how I speed tune these heroes. Alright, so this is the Excel spreadsheet that I shared earlier in my previous Cubeboard speed tuning guide. And I have already created additional three more tabs with uh, different scenarios. So I'm currently on the normal plus speed down tab where I use the regular tradition uh, regular or traditional speed to uh team which consists of like uh, William, Mary Shadowblood, Hector and Jacob and the total speed of these heroes are above 802 or 805 speed and the second team that I showed earlier in the video in the guild boss battle is uh, this team which is uh, Florence, Scarlet, Golden and Abaddon so as you notice here the total speed of these four heroes for team B is 705 so how do I get this uh, but this bonus turn for team B using the speed down is by checking the team B rotation here. So from this team B, Florence, as you not uh, notice here, she will go first, followed by Bullying, Scarlet Abaddon, and then Florence for every for every round. So how I change the formula here is by setting by selecting the point cell here and adjusting this cube boss speed. So let me click cancel. So let's say Florence, Bullying Scarlet, and Abaddon here are all at 100 speed. And once Florence takes her turn, the cube boss is already having this as uh, negative 30 speed applied to him. So if you want to uh, Modify this Excel spreadsheet, you can just click on this file and make a copy and then perform your necessary changes here depending on what heroes you use and how you want to speak to them. You can set your you can set your speed down debuffer to be the first or to be the last. For me, I set a button to be the last in order to have my uh, fastest hero on my Gipos team to go uh to gain this bonus turn rather than Abaddon having the additional turn here so you just modify the cell by changing it from uh minus 100 to minus 70. so all of these cells below are already negative 70 and that's how you notice that florence here will always gain the bonus turn all right so that's basically it on how i speed tune for the second team Alright, so let me show you how I perform the battle using these two teams and how I achieve a high amount of damage by using two teams which are speed tuned using the action meter to my advantage. So let me quickly do a quick introduction of this team. So for team A, I'll be using Jacob, Marine Shadow Blood, William, Hector, and my main damage dealer will be Jacob so, because he'll be going last and Taking a bonus turn to really refresh his uh, ultimate cooldown. And the spells I'll be using will be Guys to Never and Sunday Purgatory. And Team B will be using Bullying, Flares, Abaddon, and Scarlet. And the spells I'll be using will be Rich Aura and Sunday Purgatory. So if you have these heroes, then you're in luck because you can replicate this same uh, strategy and speed tuning to reach a high amount of damage from 1 million damage up to I think 4 million damage Alright so at the start of the battle I have William to apply the standard territory and I'll reserve William's and I'll reserve William's ultimate ability because the defense down is already applied and since the unique buff is applied to William here uh, Jacob's unique buff then I'll use William's from the joint attack. So Marine Shadow Build has three skills. Her first skill is to apply the true damage, but it's only 3%. Her special ability only deals like uh, healing to herself, and finally, Unholy Redemption deals more true damage. So I reserve this ultimate ability for around round 6 or round 7. So for now, I'll just use her basic. 
And for Hector here, I use his War Extra to apply the increased damage to turn. Oh, for Jacob, I just use his ultimate here. Then use auto to speed up the attack rather than me clicking each time. So once the guild boss turn has started, then I'll set this on the normal. The guild boss will always target the heroes that has the highest max health, which is the uh, William here at 22,000 health. So right now, I'll apply the whole position. To apply the defense down, the defense up on my weakest hero here. And Maria Shadow Blood will use her basic. Then I'll extend the increased damage taken duration by one motor. And also boost up the increased damage taken from 30% to 50%. You want to spread out your extra. I use. Uh, Jacob's ultimate here. You can use auto. If you're lazy as me, you don't want to click too much. But you need to remember to always set it back to and man uh, uh set back to manual mode. Alright, the counter attack path is kicking in. in. The defense down is already expired, so I'll use Williams or the advanced now. Hopefully, we can apply the defense down because it's only an eighty percent success rate. Okay. So now uh, uh, Hector has this pickup buff. I'll use Hector's ultimate ability to gain a bonus turn there. So performance attack. Extend the duration of the buff. For Jacob, I'll just use two basic attack to refresh his ultimate there. So you just repeat the same attacks. For the, the remaining rounds, as usual, extend the duration. Then use uh, Jacob's ultimate again. So by round, by the end of uh, round five, you will be able to reach at least one million damage. I reach 1 million damage before end of round end of round 5 okay, we still can take some damage there so the defense down has expired now we use the sunning purgatory and apply the counter attack defense up Some bonus turn. Now oh, let's extend the duration of the increased damage taken. Do a basic attack there. Okay. 
for for this time i will not use uh, the auto mode because the hero's health is pretty low right now so you if you use auto it they will use the guys in the world i want to beat the guys in the world at i think round six Seven, I'll use the cash uh, level there. the healing is a basic here in addition to turn so we, we are not able to apply the defense up because uh, we don't was stun Just this ultimate now. Set this on auto again. So we have already reached around about two point uh two two million damage on the cube boss by round seven. So right now right we are now around eight we can use unholy redemption and since my range shadow bird does not have this uh, jacket buff i'll just use that for five million damage let's apply the contact buff Seems that I do not uh, be able to counter attack if the good boss perform the bonus attack. So, well, that's a good lesson. Alright, so for the team B, I'll be using the speed down team. So I'll apply the Sarah Pagatan Ray, Sarah's ultimate ability for the bonus attack. Pull in apply the induction effect. I'll let to apply the ultimate here. Hopefully, I better can apply the speed down. Alright, the speed down has been applied successfully. For Flores, I just use her basic ability here so that the more attacks she, she deals, the more lightning damage that the boss will receive, as well as more. Uh, join attack from the wolf. And for my main damage nuker, I'll use the rich aura now because currently the boss has a lot of debuff right now. So Abaddon will deal more more damage through his uh, soul repair trait. 
because every uh, negative effect he will deal additional 5% more damage. And use his ultimate to prolong the debuff duration by one turn as well as he will also reset his ultimate cooldown because there's more than 4 negative effects. Go for Flares and just perform one more attack to gain the bonus turn here. And then use Flareon's Bridge Bloom for the bonus attack and healing. You, you do not need to use Flareon's special ability there because the healing from the ultimate is sufficient enough. You can put this on auto, but you need to remember to take it off once the joint attack on Flareon's has uh, expired. But you also need to take note about the spell buff duration as well. So just as you notice here, the duration of my spells would be one turn around around 14 at the start of the battle. The Sunring Battery will be ready, followed by a Rage Aura. mode right flares will use a special ability that's why i always put it on mana mode deal mode to deal more damage If you're lazy as me to always have to mana for the rich aura, you can uh, exchange the rich aura with. Uh, there's there's one spell that deals AOE damage based on the hero's uh, total stats, total attack stats. Then you can use that instead. So now we are closing in to 4 million damage. We'll do one more attack there. Healing and bonus attack. This one auto back. So many joint attacks from my heroes, right? Uh, the good boss action meter drops significantly lower. But below this comma on this uh good boss health there.
So the rich aura should be ready by right now. We'll reserve it for Epidon. Give us a dealing bit of damage. No, Apodon is on stun already. So we can't hit more damage there. Finish off the get boss. The reason why uh, Scarlet did that join attack with a wolf is because the get boss already has this uh, what is it called permanent immunity buff, it prevents him from gaining additional bleeding. Oh, the get boss already lost all the debuff there, so which means Abaddon will not deal much damage there. So close to 5 million damage. Alright, so that's the end of the kit boss battle because the kit boss already have more than like 70% actually meter there. So if you gain the bonus attack. So let's check out the battle report. Alright, so what did we get? It's a reward for reaching level 39. So the guild boss uh, rewards has been nerfed. So pre pre previously there was a chest where we can obtain six legendary pieces, but now it's a random, and we we'll only only get uh, one one random uh, legendary piece there. And this piece is not that great. Focus health, somewhat usable, but this this one is a warrior set. Let's keep it for now. So let's check out the damage dealt by Team A. So Jacob deals around about 1.1 million damage, followed by eh, no, uh, yeah, 1.1 million damage. Then Mara Shadow Blood deals around about 1.2 million damage. If you're able to get her to last more rounds, then her damage output will skyrocket. Because her damage, uh, her, her true damage is the one that scales even higher. The third would be Hector at 300,000 damage, 393 or close to 400,000 damage. And finally, William at 14,000. And let's check out uh, Team B. So team B dealt around about uh, Abaddon close to 1 million damage at 970,000, followed by Bullin at 875,000 damage. And then Scarlet at 374. So the total of this heroes alone will be close to 2 million damage. So most of the damage dealt is through uh, Team A. And Team A is a mixture of epics and one le legendary. And this one is 3 legendaries and 1 epic. Alright, so yeah, that's interesting. And these are the damage taken. So William will receive more damage because that's the highest health and he'll be taking out more of those single target attacks. Whereas for team B, Clarice will be receiving more damage because she's the one who has the highest uh, max health. 
Alright, so let's check out the healing dealt. So, the person who is using the guy's renewal will be Marisha the Blood. That's why there are some healing here. And for team B, Clarence will be doing the book uh, of the massive healing there. And for Bullying, she is in revival set. That's why there is some healing here. And Abaddon healed himself by 579 through his uh, passive special ability. I'm not sure for Scarlet here. Alright, so that's the better report for both of this team. Alright, so before I end this video, let me showcase the hero stats and gears for my team A and team B. So you can use it as your reference point in order to build your heroes in case you have the same heroes that I have on my account. So let's start with uh, Jacob here. So currently Jacob has 4,500 attack, 100% uh, critical rate as usual for all damage dealers. Uh, critical damage at 233% uh, some a bit of uh, focus and speed is 129 and he's currently get in a cursor alright so the next hero I have would be Mara Shadow Blood so let's find her alright so this is Mara Shadow Blood she's currently get in triple radar sets to provide her with 5 total speed from the gear for the gear set and currently I have her around about 248 speed if you have Mara Shadow Blood I highly recommend you to get at least 240 speed if you can get her in 240 speed with a curse set that would be better but if you are gearing her with a curse set but the speed is below like around about 200 or 210 I would not recommend you to use her in that curse set because I have already experimented it. Having 240 speed without Corset versus like 200 speed with Corset, the Corset proc is much lesser because the Corset only procs when she's performing attack. However, she will benefit more from a higher percentage of her joint attack through her when her allies attack because there is more heroes that is performing the turns like Jacob and Hector. Then having a higher speed will allow her to have a high success rate to perform her joint attack. But the best scenario would be having curse set and uh, paired with speed set and get her to 240 speed if it's possible. And for her total stats, she has a 3300 uh, attack, 100% critical rate, 240% critical damage and some focus. But the most important stat is uh, speed for Mario Shadow Blood. Alright, the next hero I'll go is to uh, William. It's William. Yeah, here's William. For William, I also gear him in triple radar set similar to Mara Shadow Blood because for traditional uh, guild boss speed team, right, it requires a high amount of speed, at least 800 total speed. So having additional speed here will compensate the lack of speed on my main damage nuka, which is a Jacob. And William has around about 2100 attack, 4 for the 8 speed, 83% critical rate, and 152% critical damage, and some focus to apply the uh, his uh, defense down and the centering purgatory. If you can get him to 100% critical rate, he will be able to deal some damage as well. Uh, let's move on to the uh, last hero, which is Hector here. So Hector, I built him in a curse set and a speed set. However, I do not have much uh, good curse set lying around in order to achieve a high speed to be given to Mara Shadow Blood. So for Hector, I have 4151 attack, 200 speed, 100% critical rate, 23% critical damage, and a bit of focus. The guild boss does not have much resistance, that's why you do not need to build a lot of focus to apply the debuff. Alright, so let's move on to the Team B heroes. And the first hero will be Bullet. So currently I'm carrying Bullet in a warrior set and a revival set because I'm using her for some other areas in the game, such as like my current guild boss. Uh, she currently has 5200 attack, 
100 another two speed 100 percent critical rate and 2 percent critical damage and some focus for other parts of the content and next would be flarence flarence i just gear her in a revival set basically this is the gears that i use her for other contents in the game like a uh, tower heart and she has around about four for supported heroes, you do not need to care much about attack or critical rate or critical damage. You want her for survival survivability. So I prioritize more on her health and defense. But for good boss, you need to have her some speed. So I have her around about 204 speed. And it's up for 5% focus. But this one is for other content in the game. But I just make sure that she has sufficient speed to speed tune for the good boss uh, slower team. Next would be Abaddon. So currently, I get Abaddon in a curse set. It would be ideal to get him like uh, in a uh, curse set plus warrior set or curse set plus a speed set, depending on the substats quality you have. So I have him around about 4600 attack, 100% critical rate, 258% critical damage, and some focus and 136 speed. And finally, the last epic hero on my team B will be Scarlet. I currently gear her in a mixed set. Only one matching set would be the warrior set at for 50% attack. It'd be best if I could get her in all warrior set because the bleeding uh, negative effect deals damage based on her total attack stats. So you want to prioritize a high amount of attack stats similar to Boolean. Because Boolean's uh, induction effect, the uh, lightning damage also deals damage based on their total attack stats. So for Scarlet, I have her close to 5000 attack, 177 speed, 100% critical rate, and close to 200% critical damage, and some focus. Basically, this build, I also use her for the Bane Brave uh, No Man's Land dungeon to farm the wood affinity, like gems, obsidians, and crystals. Alright, so that's basically it for my team A and team B. Hopefully you learn a thing or two from my demonstration of my cute boss team. If you're using a different team, do let me know down in the comment below on how that team works for you so I can test it out on my side to see, what, to see whether I can improve my cute boss team damage. Hey guys, uh, before I end the video again, uh, I also like to share that I have a Discord server that you can also join to post your questions there. And you, you can also find my updates on my website as well as my Geek Boss team. So if you like to know about the site updates, you can head over to the site updates channel. Where you can see me posting updates on the Everything Curious Era content as well as the Rich Shadow Legends. And for the Geek Boss team, you can head over to the Geek Boss channel and you can see what are the heroes that I use as well as my journey in reaching a uh, high damage. So from this uh, Geek Boss channel, you can see previously I was using uh, this team A with uh, Jacob, Irendil, Myron, Shadowbird and William and these are his uh, and these are their total stats which you can use to refer easily. And basically these are my updates for my good boss team you can also post your questions there in case you if you need help and i also post my team b as well so this is my older team which i use bullion scarlet bachelor and abaddon rather than florence and these are the total stats that you can use as well and this is the journey where i showcase the damage output based on this uh, team synergy and these are the and this is the chest that I was talking about. This random chest, this uh, legendary chest does not uh, provide six pieces of legendary gears. It now only provides one random legendary gear. And you can also find the speed tuning video guide here as well. And later I'll post this video on this skill portion as well, so that you can refer to this video easily. And oh yeah, and this is the newest team that I, that I was using. And with Florence now. So 
So previously with this team I only dealt around about 4.3 million damage which, which is around about 600 uh, 140,000 damage lesser compared to the one that I, that I do today and these are the heroes overview stats here as well and this is the team formation and these are the screenshot of the extra spreadsheet that I sh show, show earlier in the video so if you like to stay up to date with my keep boss uh, progression you can also uh, join my discord and you can also post other questions on other parts of the areas that you are having difficulty with like the Arctic Dominator or the No Man's Land Dungeon Alright, so I will be leaving some uh, video link in the video description below in case if you haven't watched my first uh, Guild Boss Speed Tuning Guide to get an idea on how the Excel spreadsheet works Oh yeah, if you're new to this channel, you can click subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload a new video to this channel and you can also support me through donation to my PayPal or you can be a patron at my patreon.com slash if you like to learn more about Awakening Chaos Era you can visit my website at ayumlove.net because I have placed some guides there which are pretty useful for early to mid game players and that's a, you can use it as a reference on searching heroes uh, without using the what's this called? index in case you are running as the index i using this search because i have some of this uh hero buff uh negative effect and those things on my website as well so you can use it to search for heroes however it's not as good as this filtering but in case if you're running a battle and you like to learn more about certain heroes you can use my website Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!